It's a um, combination select board finance committee meeting. Um, just um, we, we do not have a hard stop at 630, but we will do everything in our power to make that a firm goal. Okay, so tonight's agenda. Uh, review minutes from the last meeting. Review and vote on the minutes from the last meeting. Review the operating budget. Determine which departments within town we'd like to have um, to present their budget to us. Um, and then finally, items not anticipated. Okay, so let's start. So everyone had a chance to read the minutes from the last meeting? Yes. Yes. Okay, do I have a motion? Before I have the motion, are there any issues with those minutes? Okay. Do I, I have a I motion? Sent I'm sorry, this is Brenda. I'm on Pete Westover's computer because my um, camera isn't working on my laptop. But I sent one change to Brian, which is very minimal because I didn't know who I was sending it to. So I don't know if you pass that along. Did you say, Brian? Yeah, yep. Yeah, we just we're just gonna amend the minutes to um, reflect that you abstained from right. the other true. meeting minutes. Yeah. Thank you. Yep. Good. Good pickup. Okay. Um, I make a motion. We accept the minutes of the last mi meeting. I second. Okay. second. Okay, we're going to take a roll call. Vote. Patty. Yes. Brenda. Yes. Donna. Yes. James. Yes. Dan. Yes. And Tom. Yes. Paul. Yes. Okay. Alrighty. Um, I'm hoping that everyone has had an op just an opportunity to take a look at the operating budget. Um, by by no means. Joyce, how you doing? Hi, how are you doing? Sorry, I'm a minute Good. or two Good. right here. No sweat. Okay, we're right now. We are taking a just a, a quick look at the operating budget uh, that has been sent out and trying to make a determination as to which of the departments it would be wise to have come before the board uh, to make their presentations. So with that said, um, do I have recommendations? So do I have um, thoughts on which departments you'd like to see? One that stands out right away is South County. Okay. South County EMS. Okay. Yeah. Big increase. Big increase. Okay. I'm in agreement with that. Most of it appears to be salary, but you got to do better than that, than just that. I'm exactly. not happy with that at all. Exactly. Okay. Um, another. Let's go down. Let's go down through it, Brian. Uh, thanks for putting that up. Yep. Um, so we see the increased percentages as well as the dollars, and um, okay. What about the um, what about not that we need them to come in, I don't think, but I think we need an explanation as to what's happened with the town accountant. Um, Cause I'm unsure of that. Brian, can you? Yeah, so for any of these in yellow, uh, I have not received a budget. Okay. Yeah, so okay. town accountant, accounting software, Franklin Regional okay. Council of Governments, Franklin County Inspection Services, Yep, yep. Are all budgets that come from the COG. Gotcha. So we should get okay. those soon, um, right. but I, I don't have them currently. Okay. For new members of the board, the COG is the Council of Governments. Franklin County Council of Fra Governments. Franklin County Council of Governments. 
often referred to as FERCOG. And then and actually they would yell at you if you added county to that because they oh. they 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 bristle at that. It's Franklin Council, but oh, Franklin that's, Council. Okay. that's inside baseball. Okay. <laughs> you know what would be helpful actually is to see uh, things in red versus black as to what's gone up and what's gone down. But you're right about me. that. That's absolutely true. Um, that would certainly highlight. Um, yeah. The things we need to look at. I mean, I yeah. don't care about 500 bucks for office supplies. Um, no. I'm I'm curious about why the audit has gone down 2,400 bucks. Um, yeah. You know, I'm. Yeah. So it'd be it would be easier to look at this uh, if we had it like, you know, right. shining yeah. at us. Right. So right now, oh, now you lost it. That would be wonderful. And, um, and we may get that in future in future meetings. Uh, for now, let's just take a look at what we have in front of us and make a determination. I think Patty's right. I mean, if you drop by a third on your budget in the audits, what's going and not that we need them to come and explain it, but it may be something Brian that you could handle and, uh, be able to, um, uh, um, give us that reason. Does that sound, does that sound okay? Yeah, right. I definitely can give you a reason. Yep. Okay. So, uh, so from this list, uh, right now, um, we want to answer those two issues. Uh, uh, that have yes. Could I ask a question in general? Sure, Jim. Go the, ahead. The 2022 operating budget, does that reflect actuals? What's the difference between the operating budget and the 2022 budget? What's, no, it can't be what's. There, there's a 20, let me rephrase it. There's a 2022 total budget. There's a 2022 operating budget. Yep. Right. So, so let me zoom out for a second. There you go. So total 2022 is, is the department's total budget. The operating budget is, it could say a uh, total budget with enterprise fund charges removed. Okay. So what's happening is for, for uh, a number of these line items, the because the water department is operated as an enterprise fund, they pay overhead essentially to the general fund for the, the use of those services. Mm -hmm. And it's a it's it's set at a certain percentage of of the budgets, except for healthcare, which is a straight cost. So nowhere in here do we see 2021 actuals or 2022 actuals. I mean, all we're looking at is budgets. Is that correct? Mac, you, you're thinking actual expenses. So those are in the detailed budget sheets. Okay, got it. So, so if you wanted to see the actual for, let's say select board, you would go to the, the select board detailed budget sheet. In and that board. goes back to 19. And a lot of those cells are hidden. So I think we can go back to, uh, I haven't even checked how far we could go back, 14, 16. Mm -hmm. okay. right. Thank you. Can I, can I kick in here for a second? I'm sure. looking just at the top line, the select board and administration um, operating budget between 2022 and 2023, there's a 42 cents difference. Um, tell me what that, represents um, because it seems to me that salaries should have gone up uh, you know this, so am I speaking out of turn nope I don't know. no not at all absolutely not um, so let me make this perfectly clear that there's no hierarchy here uh -uh. we are all appointed to do the same thing and that's to look at the budgets and to ask questions this budget has to be vetted like any other budget that comes uh, that comes across our table so i just want to make that perfectly clear okay um so patty could you ask could you ask that question again <laughs> sure yeah. <laughs> you know, I'm looking at the operating budget yeah. of 2022 uh, SNA, Select mm -hmm. Board and Administration. 
yeah. from 2022 to 2023. Yeah. There's a $0.42 cents decrease. Um, mm -hmm. I, I'm just wondering yeah. what that represents right. um, because salaries should have gone up. Mm -hmm. um, just asking. Okay. Okay, that's a good question to ask. And let's, uh, um, Brian, is this something that you need a little time to come back? No, I, I, I think, um, so it's been the practice of the finance committee that it deals with um, salaries as a, um, from a town-wide basis in terms of a coal adjustment, um, unless there's a specific adjustment that's voted on by the personnel committee. So we don't have that yet. The personnel committee hasn't made a recommendation yet. So what we do is 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 we level fund the salaries until those change, uh, unless they're changed by uh, personnel committee. Personnel right. committee would make a recommendation to the finance committee for those changes, and those changes will be voted on it at a at a future meeting. When do we anticipate having those uh, actually funded so we can see them? The personnel committee is meeting on February 16th and hopefully we will have come to some kind of an agreement on COLAs. So you won't have it on the, we're meeting again on the fifth. Put it this way. I know it didn't go down. No. Oh. No. <laughs> <laughs> Unlikely. Okay. Okay. All right. Um, Good question. Um, so, so stated differently, I, I mean, I mean, what we're looking at pretty much is general, right? Right now, we're looking at general expenses. Yeah, yeah. without we're not salaries. looking at, at uh, mm -hmm. salaries, really. Right. Right. Tommy. Yeah. This is Jim. Uh, is there a reason why you're not meeting until the 16th? And uh, we just met about two weeks ago, I think, and we got some numbers. Uh, it's, I don't think we're in agreement as to how much of a COLA we're going to give yet. That's yeah, and we're, we're waiting on an updated. So the next round of C, uh, consumer price index numbers come out um, February 10th or 11th. So that was the next time after that the that we would have up-to-date numbers. We were also waiting for numbers from other towns around us, what they were gonna give. And it, it's very early in everybody's budget situation right now. So we didn't, we weren't getting any concrete numbers. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Seems yeah I, would, like I would second that, that's a good summary. Seems like we go through this drill every year where we, yeah have the salaries come in after we look at the budgets and yep. the operating expenses. And yep. it should be nice to have everything in front of us on day one to look at. Yeah. But it, it sounds like that's not possible. Hmm. Unless you want to start these meetings in the middle of February, like everything else. Yeah. We, we start early, so we're not going to have complete books at this time. Right. Mm -hmm. Just accept we, the fact, I, that's it. Can I ask sure. a silly question? I mean, you know, I sure. work for the federal government and we get our colas on January 1st. Is that not the same for state and town employees? No, we, we do it on our fiscal year, which is July. Well, we do it on, well, okay, yeah, but our fiscal year is September 30th. Right. So, I, I you know, it's, I don't know, it, it just seems to me that we, should have that information, but yes. Well, what do you mean by get your COLA? That's when it actually affects- uh, Our COLAs are, are determined a um, month and a half ago. Um, when when and do you start, when does that raise go into effect? Uh, January 1st. So for the, for the budget the that's decided thing. that starts in October, your raise is delayed until January. But we're deciding uh, a budget that doesn't start until July. Until, yeah, we never know. I, I No, I know. I just, yeah. it seems. It's just a calendar thing. Yeah, yeah. no, I get that. It just yeah. seems a little odd yeah. to me being in another, you know, I, I work federal, not right. state. Right. We're in a different world. Yeah. <laughs> okay. 
I'm shifting. But anyway, um, good point, Patty. Um, but I just want to um, draw attention. And something was said a short time ago about the amount, you know, we don't care about erasers or how, how much, how many pencils are being bought. You're absolutely right. But we do want to watch it, this. There's a, there's a phenomena in um, the budgets called the slow creep. And what that means is you got, you can have budgets that go up a minimal amount every year, but all of a sudden at the end of five years, you got the same personnel, you got the same jobs and the budgets look drastically changed. Um, so don't be, um, don't dismiss so anything that you want to ask a question on. Um, and I want to ask one right now, and that's uh, town building operations. Um, have gone, have, if I'm looking at this correctly, town building operations have increased 4%. Now it's only 4%. Okay. $3,000, 3,500 bucks, not going to break the bank, but it could be the beginning of the slow creep. And um, who would be the individual, Brian, that would speak to town building? Uh, myself or Keith, I can speak to it. Okay. Do you want to do that now or do you want to wait for Keith to come in and do it part of because you, you know he's coming in so. Uh, I mean so it, it's whatever you want to do we can we can get into details tonight and it's going to it's going to be a while probably but. Um, yeah. Can I ask a question just because I'm a cost engineer and this is what I do. Um, is this uh, operating expenses like just for the building or does it include plowing and and uh lawn, lawn mowing every, everything this it, this budget it includes inc everything it includes uh custodian it includes plowing and it includes um building utilities and upkeep mm -hmm. okay so but the, not, the biggest cost here is an increase is is projected increase on the in electricity cost based on 21 usage mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's just note that. I don't think we have to get into it this evening, but no. just note that for the next meeting that town building uh, operations is something that we need to, that we would like to see discussed. Yep. Okay. Um, uh, Paul, uh, it's Donna. Sure? I, I have a question. Um, I'm yeah. looking uh, I'm looking at the assessor's line and I see that in just a year to year comparison, it looks as though their budget is going down, but without the salary increases yet. But uh, when I look at the detail, the appropriated amount for assessors in 2019 was 35,000 and it, it was 50 for this year, 35 to 50 is about a, 40% increase, am I doing that mm -hmm. right? Um, have, you, have you talked about, do you, does everybody who's been on the committee already know why it's gone up so much or, or is it worth asking for an explanation? I think it's certainly worth asking that, um, uh, why it's gone up and then why it is now coming down 13 and a half percent. Um, right. right. So, so that is, so let's put that on the agenda as well, assessors. If I can ask, Brian, is, could that be caused by the fact that there was, we had the general five-year reassessment <laughs> this past year? That, that was the reason that they, they needed to pay for the five-year reval, um, five-year reval last year, last fiscal year. Okay. Uh, but, it, but, even, but even from 35 to 43 and 40, 43 is before the salary increases, in three years, that's yeah. a twenty percent increase. Did they have to buy software, uh, Paul? Yeah, we gave the assessor, the personnel committee gave the assessor's clerk, I guess you call her. I don't know what her actual title is. Uh, she got a pretty significant raise 
uh, I think it was last year, wasn't it, Brian? Yep. Cynthia. And uh, I think that the big difference between 21 and 22, not all of it, but some of that $15,000 jump was a increase in pay to the assessor's assistant. Okay. Okay. Yep. Um, Donna, do you want to? Do I want to what? Are you happy uh, with that explanation? Yeah. Um, I see it actually. It's in it's in the point two type detail that we've been provided. Okay. <laughs> so, yes. Okay. Um, okay. I I can't see if that accounts for all of it. It, I don't think their, the their, budget, their budget goes up and down more than most budgets go up and down. A lot yeah. of that's re reval stuff. Right. Yeah, that yeah. I understand. Yeah. Um, okay. Let's just put a little asterisk beside the assessor's name here. And um, we may want to have An a more elaborate explanation. Um, as to their budget. Okay. Um, treasurer collector. Uh, from the capital improvements committee, Lynn's got a big request in for a capital project. So I think we should probably hear from Lynn her on that. Okay. All right. So let's get Lynn on that. Um, we can certainly squeeze her in. Probably won't take a lot of time. No. Um, no, she's got a big new piece of software she wants. Gotcha. Okay. Um, how's, there, how's everybody feel about the planning board? Um, I know it's a 29% increase. It's $760. It's... Um, What's it for? What's it for? I would imagine a lot of it is hearings, all this cannabis stuff we've been dealing with. Oh, I'm yeah. just guessing. But how many, how many, how many, um, we've got two coming in? Oh, there's been a, oh. a bunch of them got started and failed and everything else. There have been at Over least 10, there have been at least 10 applications in the last 12, 18 months. Right. Oh. Yeah. Uh, and I think if I remember last year, we thought that they were underfunded for their publicizing noticing hearings anyway. Didn't they have to come back for more money or something? Yeah, Brian? I think so. Yeah, I think they did. Yeah. yeah so so what happens so, so what happens when they have when they have an application, they can shift the costs to the to the applicant, right? To pay for the public hearing. But if they're doing anything on their own in terms of rezoning or they get a petition for rezoning, there's no applicant to charge the fees to. Um, and what was what I think was happening was some of those costs were being shifted to the public hearing revolving fund, which we know we had to address a deficit um, at the last special town meeting, a few thousand dollars. So mm -hmm. um, they never had these costs in their budget before. Um, I know that there's one rezoning petition before the planning board right now. Uh, there probably there probably be others. So I think it's it's wise for them to include this cost there because it's a cost that they've been incurring, but it's it's been absorbed in other places. Mm -hmm. So I, I'm gonna I'm gonna be the um, thorn in the side of everyone. Um, does anyone actually submit a full budget to us? Like we're paying this much for that and this much for the other thing um, to justify yes. this seven hundred and sixty dollars. Nope. We they some departments do, but we do not hold them. We'll just take the highway department for an example. You know, they have a, there's a line item, there's, you know, plow blades, there's sand, there's salt, blacktop, gravel, but we do not hold Keith to the, to, you know, those specific numbers. To if a he, budget. Right. He, as long as he doesn't overspend his total budget, we don't tell him you know, okay. if, he, if he spends no, more on no. blacktop and less on gravel, we don't argue about. Okay, but does he give us a detailed estimate on the budget that he's looking for for 2023? Yes, Keith does. Or does anybody? 
See, um, we're, not, we're not looking. Hattie, that, Hattie, that if you look through the notebook, and maybe you haven't had a chance to pick it up yet, no, there's a there's a line item budget included right. for every single one of these yeah. roll up okay. lines. Mm, yeah. You know, with fifty dollar um, line items in it. Yeah. No, that's. I, I guess I'll have to go through that. I just, as a yeah. estimator, this is, a, this is just a broad picture. Yeah, yeah. You got to go yeah. to the individual departments and read the read their budget. Yeah, yeah. There are two books okay. left in the office um, to be picked picked up. Um, okay. All righty. Um, any other thoughts on this page? Any other individuals, individual departments you would like to see um, come in under general government? Let's just look at general government. Okay. So we have a decrease in total go general government right now. I know there's no salaries in here or anything of a decrease of 5%. And I'm sure once the salaries are plugged in, that will be eliminated quickly. Okay. Um, yeah, it will be eliminated when we're missing two budgets, one of which is last yeah, year was 26,000. So, yeah, I yeah. mean, we can't we can't use totals at this point. This is just kind of an overview of this is what department expenses are looking like. Yeah, um, it, it, I, we really can't use it, anything beyond this. And mm -hmm. um, that's the process that we've done the past couple of years where we just take a, a really quick first look to see who we want to come in. Yeah. Um, and while we all have questions about about the different budgets, um. You know the best people to answer them are not here tonight so this is kind of a right. kind of a first right. step right exactly yep. right so first step okay let's go to the next segment which is the cultural recreational recreation services obviously there are three that have not submitted the budget yet um tritown beach the rec commission and south county senior center now um as we all um, some of us may not know but uh historically um we've had some issues with both the tritown beach as well as south county being unable to hey have guys i'm gonna go on mute for just a minute i have another meeting i have to do yeah okay see ya um so um from in my opinion, those three areas, even though the budgets are not in yet, I think we need to have a heart-to-heart -heart discussion um, with them um, in a meeting format. Agreed. Uh, senior Center oh, which, doesn't have which, a director yet. The Senior Center, the director started just, yesterday. Just hired. Oh, yep. started, okay. Okay. So, there will be a director to come in. Okay. Okay. So... Um, you know, I Wait, imagine. Hey, Paul, which to... which besides Tri Town and and Senior Center, what was the third that you said has always been an issue? Um, no, it's just those two. Those okay, Tri Town. But I did say that the Recreation Commission did not have a budget in yet, but the Rec Commission um, historically has come in, and we've had a discussion uh, with them concerning the budget. So right, but 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 it's never been an issue. No, never been no, an issue. no. In fact, I think the rec group, I mean, from my perspective, what I see going on is nothing but good stuff. Um, I think it's worth every penny we spend there. And um, heck, um, if Tritown could be what the rec is, uh, we'd be way ahead of the game, um, at least in my opinion. Um, so okay um how do we f we've got um you know the library um you know we they sort of 1.52 they got a thousand dollar increase um any thoughts on them anybody i mean in the past they have come in um and hey, do they have anything on capital dan They've got yes. a couple of small capital projects, okay. and we okay. probably should have them come in. Yeah. All right. Like I agree. Changing out a door and something yeah. else. Okay. And computers. Computers. That's the other one, right? Right. Okay. So we so doing the Tritown, the Rec, 
um, library, um, South yeah, County. But, but we should we should put it in perspective that any library that's not asking for money for computers these days is a library that's still rooted in the 17th century. So. No question. No I question. absolutely absolutely agree with that. And you know when we say we want them that we want to discuss these budgets with them. I mean, yes, it's for our knowledge, but it's also for the knowledge of the voters in the community uh, whose monies are being used to fund this. And, you know, I'm surprised at how many people actually get, you know, watch, you know, whether it's- Watch uh, this. FCAT or watch this. Or, uh, I'm pretty amazed at that. Um, and I and I hear about it. So, um, so it this serves as the uh, the voter taxpayer access to who's spending my money and why. Okay. Um, righty. Are we good with cultural recreation services? Any other thoughts? No. Go ahead. Okay. Yep. All right. Public health. Gotta have Fran in. Gotta have Fran in. Yeah. Um, yep. Yeah. So, okay, public health, because he can take care of most he can of. Take these. care of. Yeah, public right. health and solid waste is Fran. Right. Okay. So we'll just uh, so make sure we uh, we get Fran in for that. Um. Okay. All right. Uh, Brian, can we, is that scroll. it? No. Scroll. There you go. Whoop. Okay. So here we are, public safety. Oh, the big ambulance, I think. Oh, yeah. Definitely. That's the big one. Yeah. 31% increase. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Okay. And, um, What's the uh, reasoning why the Quinn bill isn't in there, Brian? Um, so that's that's five percent of of the officer's salary. So until we set the salary, okay, uh, we don't have a budget number, but it's it's going to be percentage points off yeah. of the fifty six hundred. Yeah. All right. Okay. Um, okay. I I thought I had heard that we were facing a very large increase in the police budget, but I don't see it here. Um, yeah. So he's so he's so last year to address the police reform, uh, police, the police reform law, we appropriated fifteen thousand um, dollars outside of his operating budget, and he's asking for an additional ten k. Um, so while it's not in his operating budget, it's still an ask that's out there. It's a, it's a shell. It's a one time expense. Okay. Instead of putting it in his budget, he throws it at us from somewhere else. Well, you know, um, irregardless of yeah. um, that um, and irregardless of the increase, I th police, fire, ambulance always come in to give a presentation on the budget and their total operating bu budgets are significant enough where, should come um, in. where we should hear them. So let's bring them in. Yeah, and police also has a request for a new vehicle for this year. Okay. Yeah. All part of our standard procedure. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So police, fire, ambulance. Okay. All right. Public works. Well, you know, Keith obviously come in. he's coming in and uh, there'll be a chunk of time and we'll be able to... Um, well, Keith is real good about this, and he does a great job, um, and there are rarely any stones unturned. So um, we look forward to having Keith come in and give us an overview of uh, our roads um, and everything being spent there. Okay, that's good. Um, Insurance and benefits. This is uh, for individuals just uh, coming on and taking a look at this. Uh, this is one of the more frustrating uh, portions of the budget because there's very little that we can do about it. That we can do about it, and um, often um, 
it's, um, you know, it comes down to individuals within the administration to be able to uh, explain why certain things happen and uh, why, for instance, Franklin County retirement has gone up almost 5%, $9,000. And so that'll be, a, that will be a discussion. Uh, we will talk about it. Um, I don't think we're going to have anyone from outside of Waitley administration come in to explain that, but that will be on the, that will be an explanation that uh, we will enter and it will be recorded. Okay. Brian, you good? Yeah. For the ones that you see at 5% are just estimates at this point. Right. I'm trying to get more solid numbers from, mm -hmm. from Maya. You know, one of the challenges we have is, is we're dependent on these, the timing of these outside groups, right? For COG, Maya. Yep. Yep. Um, so it's a challenge and obviously with the state and the, the state aid numbers and things like that. So it always feels like it's a moving target. It always feels like um, we don't have a complete picture. Um, and we definitely this early on in the process, um, if we get, we get a little bit better as we get closer to town meeting, but yeah, but it, it the, the budget does, does change as we go along here. So, okay. All righty. Um, can you scroll down? Um, I think on classifieds, we will, um, town vehicles fuel. Well, mm, that, need, that may be underfunded slightly, but it might be, but all of these are in-house discussions, right? D during the upcoming meetings. Um, and during this time, we can, we can uh, tease out what's in back of some of these numbers, uh, but we don't have to put a place setting in there for any nope. one individual to come in. Nope. Okay, keep going down, please. Oh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. All about right. that page. <laughs> okay, this is, this page is always an eye opener. Yeah. Um, and um, here we have Waitley Elementary, Frontier, Franklin County. Uh, prior to uh, any discussion here, I would just like, to, and <clears throat> if you object to this, fine. I understand it. But Franklin County Technical School, um, they were in last year and did a phenomenal job. Uh, but I don't see the need to have them come back again this year, um, even though don't really have their budget um, here, but with the number of students um, that come from Waitley and go to Franklin County Tech and with the number of school, with the number of towns that contribute to this budget, Waitley has very little influence on um, any kind of direction that that school would take. Um, so, for right now, I would say just put them on hold. Uh, right. Obviously, we like Wheatley Elementary and Frontier Regional uh, to be able to present their budgets. And, um, and we'd also like to have the budgets at least two days before the meeting. Um, last year, we tried to go for a week, uh, but that was impossible. And um, so we need time to look at their budgets prior to um, the um, they're coming before us. Now, with that said, they will have a public information meeting on their budgets. Um, Frontier Regional High School, as well as Waitley Elementary School. Brian, do we have those dates? <clears throat> I don't think they've been set in stone, but I've heard March 1st for... March 1st. Yeah. Okay. So we are all invited to attend. Now, with that said, um, they would like their pie in the sky is for us to go to the public meeting and they don't have to come to the Our to, meeting to ours. Um, there's a couple of issues I have with that. First of all, they are the largest 
percentage, the largest portion of the budgets within our town. And I think that the voters and residents of the town of Waitley have the right to listen, to watch their finance committee vet the budgets from the schools, the, the departments that take the greatest amount of their tax dollars. And I think, and it's always been done this way, and there's a change of foot here. And I think we put draw a line in the sand and say that oh, they knew, plus there is no finance committee meeting unless we're all together and it was advertised prior. We, we can't just, you know, two or three of us show up at a public meeting and consider that to be the finance committee can't be done. Um, so that's, um, that's how I see it at this point. Um, um, Paul, it's Donna. Yeah. Um, I agree. Why are they late? I, I'm hearing you speak as though the schools are always late. Why? It's, they're always late because they feel that, well, there's, there are a lot of there are a lot of pieces to their puzzle to start with. Um, and my feeling is that they don't start early enough to put the budget together. Um, and there's also some strategy with that. Um, and they, they feel like they have carte blanche to move the budgets as they see them as they put them together and it's um it's a disservice to the taxpayer so there's no functional question. there's no functional obstacle to to meeting the deadline that everybody else in town meets um, that's not annoying. that i'm aware of it's um, annoying Brian, what do you think of that what it, can you talk speak to that um so they, they they go through a little bit more involved process, right? To to get a final budget, um, they have to wait until at least the governor comes out with his with his budget proposal, so that they have a number to work with in terms of you know the, the aid that they'll receive um, in terms of Chapter seventy eight for both um, Frontier and, and Whitley Elementary School. You know, and then they go through a by statute they go through a process of of introducing the budget and holding a public hearing and then and then voting on the budget. So their process is a little bit more involved. Um, I, I think what Paul's referring to is that in the past, despite us having, you know, um, a set agreed upon meeting date, uh, the budgets, the final budgets or, or copies of the budgets were, you know, a, we would receive them a day or two before the meeting. Yeah. Um, I don't remember what happened. I feel like last year may have been a little bit better, um, but I don't remember anything the past two years anyway. So. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, yeah. so so there is a process they have to follow, um, but we, yeah, we try to, mm -hmm. we, we try to, we try to accommodate them the best we, we can. We try and, and we have for a very long time, um, but, now it's gone from we can get you the budget at the last minute to we get you the budget at the last minute plus we'd rather not come to the meeting we'd like you to come to our general meeting and have that suffice for finance committee explanation um i don't think it does um and we must all remember that it's not our position here to say yes or no to any budget. It's our position to recommend to the town yes or no to a given budget. And if we are not satisfied with an explanation, we can't do that. You can't get up in town floor and say, this is a go or this is no. You can't do it because no one with authority has explained it to us in a finance committee setting. 
So if, they, if the administrations of these schools choose not to come to the finance committee meetings, then I think we should send a letter to our own Waitley School Committee, who we elect and we pay, that it, it will be their responsibility to present the budget created by the administrations because they were there during the creation of those budgets to begin with. So if the admins don't wanna come, then let the school committee come and we'll see what happens then. Paul, Paul, I have a question. Are, are sure. they saying that they don't want to or are they saying they will not? Are they, are they tr I guess I'm, I'm not seeing their request as their own line in the sand. And again, I don't know, maybe I'm wrong. But I see it as we'd love to do it this way. If not, fine, we'll come see you. But have they said we are not coming to see you yet? Brian, what can you say about that? Um, no, I mean, I, I think I think I, I think that's I think it's fair to state it that way. I think they would prefer the finance committee to come to the, the school committee meetings. But, right. um, but but they haven't said they won't yet. No. They have not said that they won't. No, you're right. You're, so, you're absolutely right. So I'm I think reading, we should. I'm reading into the next step. Right. I, and I guess my cautionary tale would be to to not pick a fight until we need to pick a fight. Yep. I agree. I agree. But within this group here, mm -hmm. I just wanted to raise the red flag that that is that is what is about in the wind. So, um, but we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. Yeah, right. absolutely. So anyway, um, we will continue to invite these individuals to our meeting and hopefully, you know, they attend and the voter and taxpayer of Waitley can watch um, and be able to understand where the increases and decreases are coming from and why. Um, so. All right. Um, debt. Debt. Well, that's just part of a. That's just part of a. Uh, that's just will be a piece of a meeting that um, yep. that we will weave into a given time, and we'll deal with all these bu budgets once again once all of the numbers are full. Okay, Brian. Going to be. Uh, Okay, we have enterprise fund. Um, and once again, we'll wait to that and we'll have uh, Wayne come in and uh, speak to that. Okay. Yep. Yep. Okay. All righty. So, Paul, how about if I run down who I think? Yep. Go ahead. You had talked about. Yep. Um, we want to talk about town buildings, audit, treasure collector, assessors. Yep. Tri Town Beach. Yep. Recreation, South County mm -hmm. Senior Center, library, fire, police, EMS, highway, schools, um, water, board of health. Oh, and I have Fran listed here. Yep, Fran. Yeah. Brand. Yep. Or the health and solid waste. Yep. Not the same as we do every year. Yeah. Right. Pretty much. Okay. Alrighty. That's a good list. Um, it'll keep us busy for a few weeks. Um, are there any um, questions? Any thoughts? Um, anything unanticipated that you'd like to voice at this time okay Paul, um yes Jim? Jim I'd like to follow up on the last meeting's question regarding town-owned property since we're discussing the next year's budgets and plans yep. for the next year I think now is the appropriate time to begin that discussion especially mm -hmm. the DeMaio property okay um I Brian last meeting wasn't aware of any efforts in place to uh, put the, that property on the tax rolls. And I think we should begin that, that process of trying to get that property 
um, on the tax rules. So I'm asking the select board if they could bring that up at their next meetings and get that wheel rolling. Okay. Can we, um, do you think the select board will be in a position at the end of this budget cycle to have a discussion about town properties um, such as the DeMaio space? I think that you have the DeMaio property, the elementary school as, as two properties. And I would just want to manage expectations, whether we can handle both at the same time or whether we need to pick a priority and, and, and do one and then the other rather than both at the same time. Yep. So we can do them, them both well, as opposed to both of them right. mediocre. In, in, in a mediocre way because too much is on the plate of a very small staff. Yeah. Uh, but it's certainly a, a conversation piece that we, that we need to have because it, something's got to happen. Yeah. 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 And Paul, can I tell you, Paul? Sure. Go ahead. I'm pretty sure that John meant the center school, not the elementary school. Don't anybody <laughs> think we're yeah. thinking of selling the elementary school out from under everybody. That's where, good. where John went to school. That's why he thinks of it. Thank way. you for the clarification. Well, yeah. I, I didn't. Even, I had never heard of Waitley when I was in, in elementary school. But oh. um, <laughs> two of us. Um, yeah, I. I it, it used to be an elementary school, so I, you know, was yeah, it was. Yeah. And and um, maybe I don't know. Could this be a part of the conversation when we talk about the town buildings? and the town properties. Um, and if we could weave something in there about what's going on with the blue school. Uh, I know I get a number of questions and I asked that myself. Um, I don't believe we own it anymore, Paul. No, we don't, but, we don't. but it's- um, It's, you know, becoming an eyesore, but yeah, we don't you know, own let's, it. Let's just have, uh, let's just have that be part of the discussion too, if we can get any information on it. Paul, um, Brian knows as much or more than I, but the um, developer was finally approved for his historic uh, state tax credits uh, within the last year, which will allow him to move forward. Um, Brian, do you know more than that? It, it has taken about three years for the yeah, state I know. To, to weigh in on that. I know he tried four times and he got it on his fourth time. Yeah. Wow. And, and, okay. And, and the status of the building is at best peripheral to the to the domain of of, of these committees. Yeah. You know. Yeah. It, it right. just that mm -hmm. you know there are a lot of eyesores in town that oh, in, yeah. Yeah, it's going to be mm -hmm. somewhat subjective, but mm -hmm. there's it, no. It, I think yeah. we should focus on things that we're. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Just I'm not well, sure I it's germane. It's, my my feeling was that if we're talking about town buildings and town properties that that wouldn't be it would just be a simple conversation obviously we have no um you know it has no impact um you know from an economic perspective uh, well i mean really it does because uh supposedly that was going to be condos of some sort and there would be some tax um taxation coming from them but anyway um we can put it aside if we have time uh maybe we can kick it around a little bit but uh but right now let's keep the um uh, let's keep the town properties in with our town building discussion is that okay brian yeah we'll do that on the same night brian you there yeah, that's good. Okay. All right. Good. Any other thoughts? Any other comments prior to? Okay. That's the end of the meeting. Do I have a motion to make a motion? We adjourn. When's our next meeting? Okay. Next? And hold on. Oh, top, sorry. Boom, boom, boom. Um, we Wait a minute. You can't take that back. I can't. <laughs> oh, I <laughs> can. can. Hey, come on. I'm getting old. Come on, so am I. Hey, come on. Uh, the um, yes. Is there? Are, are are we set with the dates for the coming meetings? Um, 
we have them in black and white. Um, is everybody able to make those dates? The 15th I, of February is the next one, right? Right. Can you right. please put them on the screen? Yeah, I don't know what the dates are at all. Okay. Right Alrighty. now we're set for the 15th, March 1st, March 15th. Yep. The, the 15th is the one that I cannot do. Of February or March? Of, of, of March. Okay. I could do the 22nd. Can we get a calendar, please? On the screen. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, Take out your iPhone. <laughs> I know Brian's probably scrambling back there trying to get those dates person. up. All right. Well, I'll tell you what. I will actually write them down. <laughs> That's a good idea. Very simple. Uh, so the next one is February 15th? Yes. 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 And then and March 1st. So um, here we go. Okay. So we have the 15th. So we're on a two week schedule. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And we have right now that Jonathan can't won't be here on be the at the fifteenth. Um, Correct. We should um, should we take a look at maybe the seventeenth? No, I, I won't be around that whole week. Okay. So <laughs> we're going to have to carry on. We're going to work around them. So okay. You're we'll work it. around it. Okay. Then. okay. Okay, I, Paul, I won't cry. As, Paul, yes. as soon as we have any kind of schedule of who's going to appear at, you know, we're going to ask to appear at which meeting. Right. We can get that sent around. Yep. Absolutely. Brian, Brian will be on that um, quickly. You know, he's always going I'm going to suggest the schools will be the 22nd because they're going to be the ones who get their budgets in probably late last. Yep. The school is yep. always the last one. Right. So always, always. Um, and I have not gotten any sort of email from Waitley Elementary about meeting with them. Okay. Um, well, can you reach out to um, Bob Holla, probably? Bob huh? Holla. Yeah. I will. Did, yep. did they send a, a, a notice around? No. I'm sure they post it publicly, but that's what that's what their obligation is to publicly post it. Right. They don't I don't think they have an obligation to go inform the finance committee, although wouldn't nope. that be nice? Well, Joyce, they Joyce Patty they asked for a representative and Patty agreed to do it. So yep. <laughs> being a good neighbor. Uh, I know, I, I know it would be nice, right? Yeah. I will yes. lag Bob. Mm -hmm. Yes. I will also. I'll, Paul, have you heard because from, from... I am a mom and I'm good at nagging. Okay. Paul, have I you have, heard from anybody at Frontier? I have not heard from Frontier yet. I just been anecdotally speaking with Brian and this this feeling of uh, March 1st as being the open meeting. And I, uh, I committed to attend that. Um, so, you know. Well, they've got, we're, we're scheduled to have a March 1st meeting too. Yeah. Yes, we are. That's right. Um, Brian, you sure it was March 1st? Oh, they haven't. That's right. They have not. Um, they haven't decided, I don't officially think. Officially decided. Right. We'll so, find out. And if we need. <sighs> yeah. We'll um, have to find out. Yeah. Uh, we'll need that date as soon as possible, and hopefully it's not March 1st. Well, it may be March 1st at, you know, 4 o'clock in the afternoon or something. It could be. Yeah. Yeah, it could be. It could be. Well, well, we will, uh, we will deal with that as it comes across our desks. Um, so um, we had a motion. We had a second. Everyone agree? Yes. To adjourn the meeting. Yes. Yay, team. I think we need a roll call vote, Paul, because of remote. Yeah, meeting. that's true. We do. Okay. Keep it legal. Oh.
Thank you, Joyce. Paul froze. Paul? Paul's frozen. Uh oh. He froze. No, there he is. There he is. We got you back now, Paul. I'm here. Brenda? Uh, yes. Yes. Donna? Yes. Jim? Yes. Dan? Yes. Tom? Yes. Paul? Yes. That's a quorum. Okay. No, oh, I don't count. Patty? Patty? Yes. I asked you the first <laughs> one. I asked you. You, you, are, you, you are frozen, Paul. Me. I do not forget you. That's not true. <laughs> that is totally true. <laughs> okay. Thanks, um, you guys. Okay. Have a good night. Yeah. See All right. Good night, good night guys. Thanks, everyone. Good night. Yeah. Bye. -bye.